Well, I'm personally touched by this topic. I've worked uh, for the past eight years uh, for the American um, uh, Holocaust uh, uh, Museum, and actually I've um, been uh, researching the Roma Holocaust in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and truly we do not have sufficient information, we do not have sufficient data. Indeed, this topic deserves a lot of attention, uh, if not a separate conference. It is a very painful topic and we need to uh, find a way and to find uh, financial means to carry out the work that Mr. Voyak has just described. We know that there are many people who wrote different papers and different books, but we do not have it all at a single place. The American Holocaust Museum in Washington has been filming all of the materials, putting it on microfilms uh, and uh, storing it in Washington. We will try to enable a researcher from uh, former Yugoslavia to go, to go to the Holocaust Museum in Washington for a longer period of six months, use the material that exists there, and uh, possibly uh, come up with a book as a result. Uh, uh, so uh, now I would like to open the floor for your questions. Uh, uh, these are some very interesting topics that you just heard about. I'm pretty sure there are a few questions there. Good morning, everybody, and please allow me for taking the floor uh, so often. Uh, this um, often happens in my case. Uh, we obviously cannot uh, discuss the issue of discrimination in 5, 10, or 15 minutes. And uh, generally, to talk about the life of Roma in a conference of this kind where you have five minute time slots and possibly 10 minutes for the discussion. This is certainly uh, a very ungratifying task. Uh, but when I get excluded, segregated or discriminated against as a Roma by non-Roma, that's okay, I'm used to that. Uh, but if a, a Roma, a my co-national who works for an institution, for an international organization, for the uh, Roma Education Fund excludes me, then that is very uh, hurtful, very painful. In Mostar, the second uh, most beautiful town in the world after Sarajevo, we have an organization uh, which I'm sure will be helpful. I'm sure they will not uh, waste the money that they've received. They got some money to work with children uh, that have special needs. In this group of children with special needs, there are no Roma children. And the Roma Education Fund actually uh, financed this. So when we are talking about Holocaust, do you know what happened to me when I sent a protest to the government of Republika Srpska, to the organizer of the commemorative event in Stara Gradiška? I obviously allow for the Roma from all parts of the world to speak at that gathering. But I requested for the Roma uh, from Bosnia and Herzegovina to speak there. They told me, write a speech of three to five minutes. I did. And uh, when I sent in the speech, they said, oh, but you live in the in the uh, territory of the Federation. This is organized in the territory of Republika Srpska. So we should have a Roma from Republika Srpska speaking. I said, 
okay we'll find such aroma uh, but then at the very day of the commemorative event because a minister appeared uh, our speech was taken off the program and all that we asked in that uh, speech was for the international community and there are many of you from the international community also here today we requested the international community to really launch a process against those who did commit genocide against the roma nobody has ever been prosecuted for the genocide against the Roma. So what Daniel said, these are just small particles, uh, small elements of what happened to the Roma in the Second World War and thereafter, also during the wars in former Yugoslavia. This is why I would like to invite you. I don't really care that much whether Madam Merkel will uh, f will see this as a problem and her stomach will hurt, or whether Mr. Barroso will be angry and have to leave the dinner. Uh, nonetheless, I would like to invite uh, the international community, different institutions, the Ombudsman, the Council of Europe, uh, European Union, and everybody else to give much more relevance to this issue, to pay much more attention to this issue, to put it at an equal footing with all the other genocides. So I do not really like to benchmark things and uh, benchmark numbers. But once and for all, I would like the genocide against the Roma to be taken seriously in the political circles and all the other uh, societal circles. This is why I would like to invite you uh, to give relevance to this topic also during the Croatian presidency, because um, Croatia should use this opportunity to show how uh, much it regrets what has also happened dur in here in Croatia during the Second World War. So Croatia should organize an international conference on this topic. Thank you. Thank you for the floor. I'm Stojka Attila from Hungary. We would like to intervene in two topics. First is the fight against discrimination. Azt gondolom, hogy a társadalmi szemléletformálás egyik lényeges eszköze a roma értelmiség szerepvállalása. I think um, the mentality shaping is one of the uh, most significant weapons. Uh, against discrimination and uh, also the taking part of the Roma intellectual in public life. Ennek lényeges eleme lehet uh, a Roma fiatalok uh, megteremtés, illetve szerepvállalása. Uh, one of the um, uh, most um, important uh, means of this is uh, uh, the inclusion of the Roma Vials uh, into public life. Négy Roma szakkollégiumot támogat a magyar kormány. The Hungarian government supports for uh, Roma Christian uh, boarding schools. És a szakkollégiumok részt vesznek minden olyan kezdeményezésben, amely a társadalmi elfogadás segítheti elő. And uh, all those boarding schools participants, all uh, the event which can facilitate uh, social inclusion, their social inclusion. We would like to put this initiative on an international level and uh, the boarding schools are open for international uh, cooperation as well. 
holokauszt tekintve fontosnak érezzük mi is azt, hogy kellő, kellő mértékben és szinten megemlékezzenek a szörnyű eseményekről. Uh, regarding the Holocaust, we find it very important to commemorate all these horrific events uh, taken place uh, during the Second World War. 2012-t Wallenberg évnek nyilvánította Magyarország. 2012 was nominated uh, the Wallenberg year in Hungary. Ugye bár Wallenberg egy svéd uh, diplomata volt. Wallenberg was a Swedish diplomat aki a korabeli Magyarország és Európai embermentés szimbolikus alakja. Who became the symbolic figure of saving lives during the Second World War in Hungary. Ez ember az embertelenségben, a holokausz borzalmaiban való aktív részvételét jelentette. He was a human in the midst of inhumanity of the horrors of holocaust. 2012. január 17-én Wallenberg díjban részesültek neves szakemberek, Uh, during, uh, sorry, in uh, 2012, uh, the Wallenberg Prize was rewarded uh, to such uh, professionals who. Uh, and uh, one settlement who had a significant uh, role uh, in uh, fighting of uh, discrimination and uh, 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 social inclusion. A díj jelképe a társadalmi összefogásnak, a kirekesztés elleni küzdelemnek és az előítéletek csökkentésének. Um, this uh, Wallenberg Prize is a symbol that uh, Hungary uh, pays to combat against uh, negative prejudices, racism, anti-Gypsyism and anti-democracy. Köszönöm szépen. Thank you for attention. Good day, my name is Anna Daliponski. I'm president of the uh, Center for um, an umbrella organization bringing together some 60 NGOs. Uh, I believe that I should mention that on the 2nd of uh, August, we organized commemoration in Stitza, and we had many problems caused by the Roma who were against this commemoration, whereas Europe uh, gave us uh, this uh, day and uh, to commemorate uh, the Roma Holocaust. I still have problems with Roma who feel that uh, they um, should have been there, but I couldn't invite everybody. There were 550 Roma there uh, together with our guests 600, but there are many more Roma in Croatia and all of them would have liked to have been there. So uh, s often uh, Roma themselves are against this commemoration. So I would kindly ask from Europe to do something about uh, Roma uh, who uh, really, really badly suffered. We had several meetings and I heard about horrors of what had happened to them. Nobody knows uh, how they were killed, where they were buried. Uh, that some houses in Ustice are where this happened uh, are still um, not marked in any way. So I would kindly ask people from Europe to put a plaque on that house or uh, put in a phone uh, line or something. Uh, now, for the first time, we have some kind of a fence uh, that divides Serbian part of the graveyard from the Roma part of the graveyard. And for the first time, the graveyard has been cleared a bit. I'm very grateful grateful to the institutions in Croatia, to the Council for National Minority in the city of Zagreb who have helped us to do something. Uh, but we need to do a lot. Thank you all. 
I have to apologize. The organizers uh, have uh, signaled that uh, we've overstepped the time for this session. We have three more comments. Please make sure that you are quick. And uh, these three are the only comments we will be able to take now. Yes, I'm aware that the time is short. I just wanted to say that in Macedonia, uh, some important things happened a couple of years ago, uh, but I believe um, that uh, um, oh, sorry, that the uh, European uh, Roma Rights Center did important things a couple of years ago in Macedonia, uh, but now it seems that the activities have slowed down. So I would like to, init uh, to um, incentivize them, stimulate them to come again and provide free legal aid. Now we have new Anti-Discrimination Act, but without free legal aid, uh, nobody will be able to make use of that anti-discrimination. Aid. So I hope uh, that the ERRC uh, would be able to uh, pick up on their activities. I have a question for the Ombudsman's uh, Office. Uh, the question is, uh, what is the percentage of the complaints that uh, were filed by the Roma and how many uh, Roma work in your office? And I would also like to thank Mr. Boyak for his very emotional uh, um, presentation on what happened to my relatives yesterday, what is happening to our relatives today, and what could be happening to our relatives' children and grandchildren tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much for this question. I can start from the second question. In the office of the Ombudsman of the Republic of Croatia, we do not have any Roma employees at this moment. We would like some Roma to apply when we announce a vacancy, and they can also uh, invoke their uh, um, right as a member of the national minority, and they would uh, they will uh, be um, in a more favorable position for the employment. Uh, as for the first part of your question, we still cannot say how many uh, reports came from the Roma. We had last year a total of 150 complaints on the grounds of discrimination and ex officio we also acted in 2,500 cases. So when we look at the um, whole uh, number of uh, complaints concerning not only discrimination, but also status-related issues and other issues, uh, the uh, share of uh, Roma-related problems is really very large. I cannot give you the exact percentage. Thank you very much. I'll be very brief. Mirko Markovic from the Ministry of Education uh, and Sports uh, um, and Science of the Republic of Croatia. I would like to thank all the presenters. And um, I would like uh, the gentleman. I would like to thank the gentleman from the uh, European Roma Rights Center about what he said concerning Croatia's efforts. Our ministry is indeed uh, trying uh, to work on the entire uh, educational vertical axis from preschools to uh, higher uh, education. And uh, just one correction, the uh, children, the Roma children in um, in uh, uh, Mejimuria are going to the school in which they were planned to go. This is the decision of the county prefect because the educational system is decentralized in Croatia. Obviously, the preschool program in the length of in the duration of one year is co-financed by the state, and the county of Mejimuria is our partner in this process. We are very grateful to them for this. 
uh, we uh, decided the preschool program will be available to all the children. Uh, and for Roma children, this would mean that they will have two years of preschool uh, program. This is a proposal that is uh, currently being publicly discussed. Uh, and as you know, uh, for uh, Roma children, uh, we are covering the full costs. Uh, the parents are not being uh, asked to pay their share of a uh, preschool. And we are very uh, committed to continue with this practice. Thank you. Valentina Petrus from Open Society uh, Slovakia and I just want very briefly to come back to um, the remarks of our colleague from ERRC Sinan. Uh, first of all, I'm very pleased to see that finally we do have in the agenda discussions regarding so-called cross-cutting terms, anti-discrimination and last time with Sanela on, in Macedonia uh, we suggested also to don't forget about gender issues. So uh, um, what I would like to, to ask is to don't ignore uh, Sinan question, what we should do, governments, what we are going to do, because uh, member states and not only member states are ignoring uh, court decisions. From the legal point of view, we have wonderful frameworks in our countries. Uh, we do have laws, we do have, uh, I don't know, institutions and so on, equality bodies. Uh, but in practice, we are ignoring uh, court decisions. We are in, uh, ignoring uh, the enforceability uh, of the law for, for these people. And let's do not forget someone mentioned here, uh, free of charge legal aid, which is also very important, taking into account that uh, uh, that Roma people are not in a fantastic economic situation to can afford uh, expensive uh, legal, uh, legal advice. So I would like uh, very kindly to ask uh, the organizers to include for the next steering committee uh, on the agenda uh, reports from the member states answering uh, concretely to the cases which are pending in case well-known cases of, uh, of discrimination. Uh, for instance, Slovakia. We do not have a representative of Slovakia here in this moment. Also, Slovakia is a good client in terms of segregation, sterilization, and so on. Uh, to, to, to hear from the government representatives how they are solving, how they are coping with these concrete cases, and not only to report that we do have a law according to the Constitution and so on. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Um, to respond to Croatian uh, intervention, um, my only yes, there are very positive things that we are receiving from Croatia, and we are very happy to announce them and to cooperate. This is our target. However, we hope that this interest does not fade away when Croatia becomes a full partner, a uh, full, full member of the European Union, because this was the case in many other countries. Uh, they were very enthusiastic uh, in the pre-accession period, but when they, become, uh, when they became members, Roma issues disappeared. So we hope Croatia sets a different example in that sense with its emphasis on Roma issues after becoming uh, a full member uh, of, the, of the Union. Uh, and yes, uh, this uh, implementation of judgment is very crucial. Really, it devotes more attention, maybe separate sessions, because this is where our activity ends. This is where everything we can do and, and then the government's responsibility starts. And there's nothing really we can do more than taking them to court and getting the judgments and expecting them to, to implement them. And uh, it's moral, political, and ethical and everything all combined. Yeah, thank you. Uh, sorry, uh, for the Macedonia, we just finished a research uh, regarding uh, education, uh, special education in Macedonia. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I have to refer that uh, two, two months ago, a Macedonian minister said that many Roma families in Macedonia are faking, uh, are forcing their children to fake, uh, to go to, to, to fake that they are disabled, 
so that they can go to special schools, so that, so that they can get this 50 euro something uh, support. Uh, it is brilliant. I mean, can you expect a five years old child faking disabled, mentally disabled, because uh, the father instructed, and uh, faking the whole panel, like because there's a panel of experts uh, judging, uh, reviewing the child's situation. So there's a five years old child uh, in front of a team of experts, and this child, five years old child, is faking the, that he's or she is uh, mentally, uh, you know, disabled, and all these experts are being convinced. Wow! I mean, this needs Oscar. Uh, really, uh, this child immediately should be taken to Hollywood uh, and bec become a uh, child star. Uh, how can a minister say that? I mean, seriously, uh, we, we expect not only implementation of judgments, but also seriousness from some of the uh, policymakers uh, in that uh, in that part of the world. Also, the last thing is. Um, in some countries, we hear anti-Roma statements from very high-ranking people. This is, this is one of the biggest issues. Uh, in Hungary, for example, uh, civil rights ombudsman made a very harsh anti-Roma statement, and this person is still civil rights ombudsman. Uh, in many other countries, we, we heard ministers, prime ministers, etc., and this is not going any, uh, this is not creating any political consequences for them, uh, other than getting some more votes. This is this this is uh, very important. This perception must change. Anti-Roma uh, activities, perception, uh, anti-Roma statements should not get rewarded. They should be somehow. They should have somehow negative negative consequences. Uh, unless we achieve that, this holy unholy triangle, media, public, and policymakers. Uh, feeding each other in, in anti-gypsyism, uh, we should break this. And education is a key key element here. And that's why ERRC is very keen on working in the field of education. Thank you very much. I would like to thank the panelists. Well, quite clearly, the topics of Holocaust and anti-discrimination uh, require much more time. Valentina already said that in addition uh, to the reports that we would like to hear from countries in one of the future meetings on what happened to the judgments which have not been uh, enforced, uh, bearing also in mind uh, that discrimination is one of the cross-cutting issues of the decade, I would personally like to see the uh, anti-discrimination plan in very concrete uh, and specific terms by one of the country, because this is something that I have never seen before. Thank you very much. Uh, the coffee is already cold. Uh, Fifteen minutes is all that we can take for coffee break. Thank you.